And in that circus, there is going to be all sorts of inappropriate messages, uh, uh, inappropriate behavior, and some sort of downright sexual predatory aspects of it. I'm that petrifying to these billion dollar companies? <laughs> well, good, I hope I am. And I hope, and I hope everybody else becomes that. I mean, this is what they're afraid of. They're afraid of one voice, imagine. So it has been a little over a week since Elon Musk took over Twitter and places it. It's a mess. Getting out of the shower and the towels around your waist and you're looking at yourself in the mirror and you're just like, there I am. The era of wokeness is coming to an end. I'm sure you've noticed over the last handful of years, we've been slowly but surely just being spoon fed these ideas and all these concepts. Now it's come to a point in recent times, in the last few years, now they're just constantly smothering it in our faces. I mean, you can't even watch a movie anymore without being flooded and just force fed all these messages about, you know, you just need to accept everybody and everything for exactly what they are. And everyone should just be able to do whatever the heck they feel like, whenever the heck they want. Oh, but if you don't agree with our message though, then uh, you're canceled. Yeah, so what you really want is us to accept everything and everybody as they are, as long as it fits with your agenda, of course. And it's wild, bro. You got all these like movies and TV shows. Instead of like making the story the first priority, like making a good genuine story, instead of that being the first priority, the first priority now is to make sure that you know, we're promoting gender equality, make sure that we're promoting diversity. Bro, no lie, I took my wife to a play last year to go see Moses and Pharaoh was literally played by a transvestite. Lately, bro, it's getting ridiculous. It's like the new old be one show bro they should have freaking renamed that to the adventures of Revo. it's like dude we have been waiting years to see this show we have been waiting years to see like the aftermath of obi-wan and anakin you know seeing him rise as darth vader and, and like the whole rest of the show was about this Reva chick that nobody gives a freaking two craps about and it's like uh, here we are again bro super strong female lead and me hating on this character bro like this has nothing to do with her gender has nothing to do with her race you could have even uh, took my wife bro hired her for the job and yeah i would have been like oh cool good job sweetheart i'm super excited for you but you know i I love my wife, but I'm not here to see my wife. I'm here to see Obi and Darth Vader, and I want to see them go at it. Like, if you're gonna do this whole story with Reva and make it about that, save that for a whole nother movie, like something entirely different. You don't need to force that in our faces. With that said, I feel like within the last one to two years, I really feel like people are finally starting to wake up. Like the scales are being lifted from their eyes and they're actually starting to realize, and they're starting to see like these forced messages that we just, we need to love and accept everyone and everything. And it's like, bro, look, like I'm all for showing love to everyone. I'm all for lending a helping hand to anyone in need. I'm all for celebrating our differences. I'm all about celebrating our diversity. I'm all about it, but only as long as those differences align with God's word. See what's going on right now in this whole like wokeness culture is that it's becoming too extreme now. A lot of the things that they're telling us to accept are just pure evil. They're satanic, bro. They're totally against what God set into play. It's like they're literally opening up the Holy Bible and just taking a big spit in it and closing it and tossing it to the side. I've had plenty of these types of people come at me and say, Dre, oh no, bro, your your ways, your ideology, your way of thinking, that's that's all antiquated, right? The Bible, you know, that's, that's, that's old news. That doesn't apply to modern culture anymore. God, the Bible, oh, that's, uh, that's all just expired. It's wild, dude, because I remember when woke was a term, like a spiritual term that us dudes used to use when we described how we weren't gonna just blindly follow what people tell us. And like what, you know, all the messages that culture is trying to have us follow. Now it's just a term basically for people who want to just blatantly sin, but be accepted for it. It's a term that they use so that all their sinful ways and sinful lifestyles can be justified and accepted. You know, they could be accepted for who they are because that's them, you know, they're just doing them. And if you don't agree with it, then you're, um, you're a misogynist, yeah, yeah. Or if you don't agree with our non-binary ways, then you're transphobic. And so this is the thing, bro, it's like this whole woke thing, like I feel like it like started off cool. It was like a cool little movement kind of thing. I used to even like use it as a term. You could probably go back to my old videos, but like it's like transformed into this just, just 
weird thing now. And it's like, you got all these like non-binary pronoun things going on now. And oh, masculinity is toxic. And you got like all these crazy wild color haired activists and feminists and just pushing for these agendas that go totally against God's will. And it's like, bro, look, I'm all for like movements. I'm all for standing up for people, especially for people that are less fortunate and you know, that need, that don't have a voice. But the second it goes against biblical, traditional ways that God set into motion, that's where me personally, that's where I have a problem with it. And it has to come to a point where like me, as a godly young man, I have to stand up and I have to say something. I can't just always sit back and just be like, oh, you know, well, the world's gonna do what the world's gonna do. And you know, I just gotta love everybody and accept them for who they are. And, and it's like, I, I get it, bro. Like, come as you are, yes, but let's leave transformed. Let's have a renewing of the mind. Let's have a new identity in Christ. It's okay to be weak, but it's not okay to stay weak. It's okay to be addicted, but it's not okay to stay addicted. It's okay to battle same-sex addiction, and I'll still love you for it, bro. I'll still be here for you anytime you need me, need my help or anything, but let's not flaunt it. Now it's turning into something entirely different now. Now it's starting to become just, just gross and perverted. We're celebrating gay orgies. Now we're celebrating swapping partners. You got guys like Sam Smith leading the way. You got guys like Lil Nas, Lil Nas X in these music videos. And it's just, it's disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. And I know I might be canceled for saying that, but it's like, it's coming to a point now, bro, where like, are you gonna stand up for what you believe in? Are you gonna stand up for the world? Or are you gonna stand up for Christ? We're coming to a point now, bro, where you can't be in the middle. You can't be in this little gray area and try to sit back and you know be hush hush and step on no toes you don't want to no bro it says in god's word it says so i will spit you out of my mouth because you are neither hot or cold that's in the book of revelation right there bro you might need to check that one out for yourself so hey look bro things are definitely coming to an end now and as you can see the world is it's dividing and you got to ask yourself where am i gonna stand am i gonna stand on god's side or am i gonna stand on the world side. I'll tell you what, bro. Me personally, I would rather stand with God and be judged by the world than stand with the world and be judged by God. And I think you are starting to realize this too now, my brother. You're starting to wake up to this, right? You're starting to wake up to all these agendas, all this woke stuff, all this non-binary stuff, this feminism stuff. That's another thing, bro. Feminism, it started off cool. It was all about empowering women in their God-given role. But now it's no longer about that. Now it's no longer about equality, it's actually about becoming more superior. And that agenda right now, like I said, it's just being smothered. We have to accept it. We have to allow women to rise up and become more dominant than men now, right? We have to. But bro, look it, don't get me wrong. I'm all about powerful women. I'm all about women embracing their femininity, but as long as it's in the role that God gave them. Same with men. It's the same thing on the opposite end. These days, culture is telling us men that we need to be more soft and more emotional, which, hey, I'm fine with that, but only as long as those emotions are building me up as a man, not tearing me down. The last thing I want is those emotions to be calling all the shots in my life. No, bro, I'm gonna use those emotions for my benefit. I'm gonna use them to help me become a more, a better father, a better husband, a better leader. For instance, that soft heart of mine, all those emotions that I feel, because naturally, bro, naturally I am a more emotional guy. I am a little bit more intact with my feelings than most men. I, I'll sit here and watch like Titanic and I'll be freaking choked up, bro, right? But I'm gonna use those things. I'm gonna use those emotions to not only build up myself and become better, but to build up you guys. That soft, tender heart that I have for you, for men in general, I'm gonna use that as fuel to make these videos, to make these programs and to build you guys up to help you now become leaders, to help you now go out and build strong families, right? See, we need to use these emotions. The world's trying to tell us to use these emotions like and to tap into all the bad negative emotions and to focus only on these, on those ones, right? But no, bro, we need to tap into our positive emotions. The ones that are actually gonna build us up and build up the people around us. Those are the ones that we need to be more intact with. See, look, bro, there's a time and place for both women to be more masculine and men to be more feminine, but it should happen naturally. It should be forced and smothered. We shouldn't have to be forced to agree and accept everybody's type of lifestyles, no matter how obnoxious and wild it is, no matter how opposite from God's word it is. When's enough enough? When is it gonna be finally capped off? Things are getting so extreme now, bro. Now, they're starting to like implement kids, children stuff, bro. I mean, how far are we gonna go? There has to come to a point where we say, okay, you know what, okay, this is wrong. No, bro, it just keeps on getting worse and worse. And we're just being told to just keep on accepting, 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 accepting. No, bro. 
we have to draw the line. And I think men, especially you and I, bro, we're starting to realize this now. We're starting to realize that we need to stand up and draw that line. We're starting to see this. We're starting to see this shift. We're starting to see people actually wake up from this matrix. And I'm, and I'm very excited, bro. I'm very excited for us men right now. We're starting to see this sickness, this illness for what it is. But the only question now is, are you gonna stand up? Are you gonna rise up and stand for what is right? And I don't know, bro, maybe it is a good thing that this all happened. Maybe it is, maybe so. I think now it's starting to teach these companies, it's starting to teach uh, these studios that pushing this woke message is doing nothing but actually hurting you and causing you to become more broke. It's that whole, uh, I've been hearing the motto go around, when you go woke, you go broke. And it's kind of funny because when all this whole woke thing is done and it fades away, which I, I feel like it, you know, there is potential. I, I see us, you know, going in that direction. I feel like all those people who are in that, immersed into that whole world, they're just gonna be like, well, you know, I was never really like that serious about it anyways, right? <laughs> so look, bro, I'm starting to see a shift in things. I know you are too. I mean, at the end of the day, there's always gonna be a certain amount of wokeness out there in the world. But I think guys like you and I, I think studios, you know, these big companies of like, you know, uh, uh, create these movies and stuff. I, I think they're starting to see it too. I mean, look at all these new Marvel movies coming out. Look at all these things that they're putting out there into the world. You're starting to see a decline, right? A lot of money is being lost. They're losing a lot of money right now. And then you're starting to see like the movies like the new Avatar, like uh, uh, Top Gun Maverick, these movies that celebrate masculinity, that celebrate the family unit, that celebrate just men being strong again and their wives supporting them and the man supporting his family. You're starting to see this kind of stuff right now actually rise. And then all the other stuff is starting to decline, fall away and crumble. So the best thing, the very best thing that you and I can do right now, my brother, is to Fight the good fight. Stand up for what is right. Stand up for Christ. Stay mission focused. Stay focused and don't allow culture to manipulate you. Don't allow them to tinker with God's purpose for your life. And check this out, bro. Final note. I think I heard this from, this is actually where I got inspired to make this video, it was uh, from Andy Mian TV, I believe it is. Evil will continue to grow. It'll continue to blossom and multiply only as long as the good people don't do anything about it. So if you and I, my brother, if we continue to just you know, sit there in the background and not stand up, not speak up, not stand for what is right, then of course, bro, evil will continue to dominate and take over. And this is gonna do nothing but just poison the minds of not just today's culture, today's generation, but the generations to come. Our kids, our kids as kids. This is the war of our generation, and we cannot continue to flirt with the enemy. It's time to stand. Stand up for what's right and do what God has called you to do. That said, thank you so much, my brother, for watching. Be sure to check out the Masculine Masterclass that I have for you down below. Get access to it today. Thumbs up if you dug the video. Hit the notifications button to be informed when I drop the next video. And check out this one right here. It's a powerful one. You won't want to miss it. And I'll catch you on the next video. Peace always.